Welcome to Amuse Art Fairs, Amuse at Home. Hi, I'm Kim Johnston, and I am one of the co-founders of Amuse Art Fair. And this is would have been our fifth annual in-person event held at the Museum of the Shenandoah Valley, uh, which is an MSB here if you're local and in Winchester, Virginia. And this is our first annual event for Amuse at Home. And today we're going to be talking to Rosa Mendez and I'm going to introduce her now. Hi, Rose. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Rosa. <laughs> good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. All right. Well, do you want to tell us a little bit about your name? Um, Rosalind, is it? Rosalind Mendez and your business name too. Okay, um, my name, Rosalind, is, um, I'm named after my grandma and, um, you know, I, it makes me think about her when I, when I hear my actual full name. Um, my business name, um, I started my business when my older son was a baby and he's Evan. And so it's just a little like nod to him. Um, even Rose, um, but also uh, even Rose Love. It's it's like a little poem because it's balanced four four and four. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> wow! Did you? Is it even even uh, Rose Love? Would you say the business? Yeah, even, even Rose Love. Yeah. Yeah, but his name is Ev Even. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, when, when we named him Evan, it was kind of a wish for him to be an even natured male. <laughs> Cool. Because, you know. <laughs> yeah, we need more of those. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and women too. <laughs> so, yeah, that's great. So, okay, so even, even Rose Love and your name is beautiful and your son's name too. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do. Okay. Um, mostly what I do is metalwork. I do jewelry, um, but I also love textiles. And so, um, I have been working on both the last few months. Um, the newest work that I've done is, a, is some of what I've done before, which is really um, botanical shapes, you know, simple botanical shapes like, um, well, here, um, you know, leaves and things. Um, but some of my newer work is a little bit more um, simple. Like these, I was calling them Let's see, uh, let's see if I can put them on something so it can be seen. Um, I was calling them mermaid scales because they're, um, you know, simple and textured. Um, and I think I've been thinking about the ocean because we didn't get to see any water this year. Um, so a lot of what I have been working on is very like oceany and, um, let's see, oh, wait there. That, that wow, right. wow, um, they're amazing. So, pieces lots of lots of uh soft things and then these these are new this week um i was just thinking about well wait, ah, there we go so we've been studying my older son and i we've been studying cells that's not focused is it yeah it's, it you can see it great okay um, so we've been studying cells and cell division, and so a lot of what I've been doing is um, like these. Um, they're they're kind of a play on cell division, so they're just a little um, less botanical and more <laughs> uh, cellular, <laughs> uh, more finite. Um, and then some of the things I have are actually from when I did fairy con last year. Um, okay. So we have things like tiny silver mushroom bells. <gasps> oh, I love those. Are those earrings or? No, just yeah. pendants, tiny little, pendants. <gasps> um, tiny little pendants. Those um, are so adorable. And then these funny little painted, these funny little painted mushrooms. Um, oh my gosh. Is, you know, they're copper and they're painted, they're painted and, and dipped. Um, so these this this is one of my favorites this is a brooch or pin and um 
it's also painted copper. So wow. they're, yeah. Oh, they're little, your grandmother would have worn maybe, right? Uh, possibly, yeah. 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 Um, and what else? And some of the other newish things. Well, I, I always come back to the simple leaf shapes because that's, um, you know. Those are sweet. Those are so it, it, you, like a lot of your jewelry is actually a lot of metal, copper and yeah. silver. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Like what, what inspired you to work with those materials? Um, well, for, for about 12 years, I worked installing museum exhibits. Um, so we traveled all over the country. Um, even after my older son was born, we were, um, we were still installing museum exhibits. My husband still does that. But um, so I learned to work in a variety of materials. That's where I learned to solder. Um, and I built tiny little mounts for things like coins and beads and um, smaller objects. And I, um, I built body forms for um, textiles, like for clothing and, um, and then these panels for some of the more delicate um, textiles. And so I have a love of both textiles and metals um, because I because I kind of had to hone my skills at both. Um, and so this summer, actually, while, uh, while we've been home, I've been doing a lot of sewing more than I've been doing metal work. Um, so like I've been doing these <sighs> pillow oh, covers. I love those. I like the colors. Is and this on your website too? It will be um, by Friday, I'll, I'll have. And so I've been a little obsessed with this whole uh, cantha quilting. I think that's what it's called, yeah. um, which is, you know, it's just a really simple stitch on the top, but it just makes things finished. But, but the reason why I was, I was sewing is because I was doing, as most, a lot of artists switched over to doing masks, you know, and and so lots of botanical can, can you show that mask again what was that what was the um well this one on this one is twall with a with a little butterfly oh it's a butterfly okay that's great. um and then lots of 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 course lots of um botanical guys um and, but so i bought all this fabric uh, because I, if i was going to be making something functional it had to be pretty yeah. <laughs> so i bought all these fabrics and Beautiful. now I've been playing with them as you, you know, pillow covers. <laughs> but. Well, we have lots of pillows in our house. So we build lots of pillow forts and things like that. So uh, yeah. being able to change it up with, with pillow covers would be amazing. So do they come off? Are they washable? Or yeah, um, they are all washable. Um, they, they all have a zip somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, so they all have zips, and um, and they're they're pretty sturdy. Yes, everything okay. has to be. If you have children yeah. and dogs, everything exactly. has to be. Exactly. Pets um, and pets and kids are so messy. So yeah, yeah, that, that's great. Yeah, and so I'll sell them as pillows or as pillow covers, depending on what people want. Um, okay. I already have pillows that need to be, you know, covered and recovered and washed and all. So. Um, so that's great. So you, you're doing um, masks and jewelry and textiles, and that's kind of bringing in your skill set coming from yeah. when you were traveling and, and doing things at museums and building the mounts and your your uh, forms, I guess, with some of the yeah. textiles. So yeah. one of the things that I have seen with your work is you've actually been at a Muse art fair for how many years? Since um, the beginning? I think I didn't do the first year. Um, okay. Since it was at uh, the Museum of Shenandoah, I, um, I started doing it. So this is your fourth year to participate? Yes. Just, yes. I, I actually met you um, when your sister was doing a show, uh, oh gosh, an identity crisis fundraiser or something yeah. at a train station in Shepherdstown years mm -hmm. ago. And I just remember being in love with some of your copper bracelets and some of your copper earrings, like I think you had 
I don't know if it was pounded copper or something, yeah. but they had little designs and I loved those. And so when you joined uh, Amuse, I was so happy and thrilled to see that you are going to be participating with us here in Winchester. Yes. So um, can you tell me a little bit about the, your, the types of like nature, like you're attracted to leaves uh, and doing floral patterns. Is there a reason behind that? Um, I, I've always been, I've always been attracted to nature. Um, I have crazy wild um, pollinator gardens. And so um, it's my place where I go when I need a moment because I'm a busy mom. So I will go sit and just watch and listen. And, um, and so one of the things that I'll do is just, you know, whatever it is that captures my attention, um, whether it's like, um, a play between colors or um, relationships between pollinators and the plants or just the line of, of leaves or flowers, um, whatever's in season. Um, my, my gardens are crazy and wild and overgrown, but there's always something blooming, which is, that's my joy. <laughs> yeah. It's my place where I can kind of just meditate and then and, uh, and get on with my, all the things that I do as a mom. <laughs> I totally get that. That's awesome. Yeah, I love, I like being, well, my kids like being outside more than I do, but <laughs> I do, I love being outside. I feel like sometimes, uh, you know, as a mom, you're also, we're inside a lot doing all the other things, uh, especially, you know, I know that you're homeschooling too and, yes. and, uh, and just kind of managing all those things that we do. So it is really nice to be able to have an oasis of sorts to be able to go outside and step into that meditative space. Yes. So I'm so glad that you have that. Yes, me too. <laughs> it's been a, it's been, a um, it's been our saving grace the last, the, this last six months being home. I can um, imagine. Well, so oh, that, thank you for exp uh, expressing some of that. And I, is that like with, like I know now, like what draws you to the lines and the uh, kind of like meandering, like a lot of your, your jewelry pieces kind of meander, I, like your, your cellular earrings and even your necklaces, I notice sometimes are asymmetrical. Yes. Things like that, which <laughs> I love. Nature is very um, asymmetrical and, and never perfect and, um, but always balanced. And there's something really appealing about that, um, that it's, it's organic and a little, um, a little funny. Um, and so it's things that I come back to over and over again. Um, I used to paint and so I would paint and actually I've begun painting again, but that's a, di a different, uh, <laughs> but um, I, I would add little botanical details throughout. Um, I, I love nature's processes. And so uh, having mimicking, mimicking those, you know, in metal or fabric, it's really, it's really lovely. Yeah, I like that too. And I like the balance of your work because you, you go to those very feminine pieces of those lines and then having a balancing uh, because some of them are large and uh, what some may view as more a masculine type of presence and so I love the balances uh that your pieces attain Thank you. But, yeah <laughs> and, and I look forward to seeing what you're going to have at Amuse but um at home and one of the things I wanted to ask you is was about your your pro like process for actually creating the pieces mm -hmm. like the metal and you said that you, you do did soldering and things like that what do you want to tell us a little bit about some of those copper pieces for instance do you refurbish pieces or uh, some yes like for instance um oh I didn't bring them up well for instance some of the rings and things are um they're tube settings which mm, let's see <laughs> tube settings which my brother does um there we go wow. does heating and air conditioning and so the he'll give me off cuts from projects that he's you know from jobs that he's working on so i'll reuse the copper um and then things like um i use uh drum symbols a lot because it's a really nice uh, brass alloy um so one more time you use what 
uh, drum cymbals. So I have friends who are musicians and they'll give me their, you know, battered, like a lot of them teach. And so they'll, they have some cymbals that have taken a, a beating more than, more than a normal cymbal would. So it becomes a really good material to reuse. That's great. Yeah, I love that. That was what I remember when I was looking at those cuffs was that I, I thought yeah. that they were pipe fittings or something. Not yeah. fittings, but pipes or something reused. Yeah, so I use a lot of odd found materials. Um, even things like like this, you can't really, yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but so this is actually a found piece of glass. So it looks all fancy, like it's a crystal, but it, oops, <laughs> like it's a crystal. Oh, but wow. It's found piece of glass but I put a painting a tiny little painting up underneath um, is it a blue painting yes yeah, so it's like a painting of a painting of waves underneath um, that's so cool I don't know I love to experiment um I, I one of the reasons I love making art is that you can break all the rules and if you finish it well enough um, no one can tell you you can't do that. <laughs> I love that. That is really great. My my kids love picking up glass, and I, we actually have quite a few random pieces. Um, and th that was what I was thinking. I was like, oh man, this will, it would be kind of cool to tumble them so they're not right. Like, yeah. Know. Well, like this is safety glass, so it's got you know it's soft. You know, it's made to break cleanly. Um, and then a lot of things I've started using um, my collections of weird stuff like you know your kids pick them up I pick them up I'm nearly a toddler in my <laughs> magpie quality but so, like, I've started setting my beach my beach stones and things you know like that's oh a, and and then this one has um, enamel with it um, so I love a mixture of high and low, you know, like you've you, just a found object, but set. So it's a permanent, it becomes a permanent object. That's amazing, Rosalind. So do you, would you actually do any custom pieces if someone mm -hmm. had say you would? Yes, yeah, okay. I, I, I do. Um, I, uh, although in my style that I do things. Um, of course. So, so I've had people ask me to set, um, you know, faceted stones in a fine jewelry type of way. And that's not really my aesthetic. Um, I, I tend toward the organic. And so. Um, it's 11 o'clock. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that? <laughs> it is. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I, I tend toward you know, a little wobbly and funky more than fine jewelry. I love that. So if we want it, because we actually, my daughter found a couple of uh, pieces of pink glass when we were hiking mm -hmm. this uh, past summer in North Carolina, and it would be really cool. She would just, I think, be over the moon if we could make something into it, if I could have you make something. Yeah. So if we wanted to get in touch with you, how can people get in touch with you? Um, the easiest way is either by um, email or okay. through my Facebook page um, or my Etsy store. Um, I'm easily I'm easily found because I've got an Etsy and Instagram um, and a Facebook presence with my business. Um, Remind the public what, what your name is, what your business name is and how to find you. So on Facebook and on Instagram, I am Even Rose Love. Um, and so I think if you look up that, that's easily found. Um, and on Etsy, I'm Even Rose. Uh, okay. Even Rose Love and, and Even, uh, even, even Rose. Rose. Yeah. So we will, we're going to have your links actually at the amuseartfair.com. Um, Let's see, can you see my finger? My, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> right here, the amuseartfair.com. Uh, People can go to that and they can shop your items. Are there any going to be any specials or new launches for um, actually? Baseball? lots of new launches and um, I I am going to do a big upload of work onto my um, my Etsy store um, in the next few days so and and um, so it'll all go live on on Friday 
Great. We're looking forward to, to having you. Thank you so much for today, Rosalind, and spending yeah. time with us. And we, I really am happy that I got to know you a little bit more and hear more about your story and your process. And I wish you the best. And we really look forward to the new product launches at amuseartfair.com for Amuse at Home. And that will be this Saturday, the 17th through next, the following Saturday, October 24th. And people can log on and click on Even Rose Love, and that will take you directly to her site and connect you. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Thank okay, you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.